This is going to be just a quick example of how I brew with the AeroPress. And the AeroPress is all of the different ways to make coffee give you totally different, not totally different, but different results. So with an AeroPress, you've got this scoop, which you're going to put one scoop of this, which is roughly about 15 grams of coffee. Then you've got this part, which is the, the plunger. And then this is basically the body here. And then this is the bottom. And there's a paper filter that goes on here. Um, with the AeroPress, the water has to be cooler. You want to be down somewhere around 185 for the water, maybe 190 at the most. Uh, it's just a different brewing method. And of course, I've already weighed out the... Uh, the beans there 14.9 it was just 15 but that's okay and for what I'm going to do on this particular one is I'm going to I can I can grind it very minimally and then put uh, that coffee in and only bring the water up to where the number two is and that makes more like a, an espresso and then I can take that out and then add more water to it or I can put the coffee in and bring the water all the way up, slowly plunge it. But one of the tricks with the, the AeroPress is that it's a long plunge. If you plunge it too quick, you're going to get a, a more bitter coffee than if you do it slowly. Um, 30, 40 seconds to plunge down and thus again the timer part. So I'll get ready and then I'll show you more of that. Okay, so I just... I just ground the coffee and it's more like an espresso blend for this because I'm just going to do a short one. But if I was going to make the whole all the way up, I'd make it a little more like a drip grind. And yes, grind does make a difference because, I mean, you can see there's the grind here. A drip grind is going to be totally different. So you have to play the, the water and all the other things together. But to make what I'm going to do, is a very fine, almost, you know, espresso type grind. Okay, so one of the other things that you have to remember is the water. Remember, it's going to go down to about 185. So if you bring this to a boil, it's going to take you a good few minutes, 10, 15, somewhere in there, before it drops, I think, you know, if you don't have a, a way to measure it. Once you're ready for that, what you're going to do, or what I do, is I'm gonna take just a quick little wet the filter. Okay, then we'll throw that water out. Okay, then we're going to put this lovely cone thing on here and put in the coffee. Take the cone thing off and just flatten it up a little bit like that. Now I'm going to take the water and I'm just going to put in enough water to go up to the tube. Just like that. Also comes with this, okay? So this is the stirrer because what you gotta do is you gotta go in and just stir it. You don't have to go crazy. Just stir it like 10 seconds. And this thing's made so that, you know that paper filter on the bottom? It's just the right height. See how it's got the angles? So you just can move it around back and forth in roughly around 10 seconds. Then what you do is put this in and you're going to start plunge. And like I said, you want to go down around 30, maybe 40 seconds. So it's a really slow plunge.
and you'll feel resistance as you go as you're going down. So you may end up having to use two hands. And then you'll get the air. You'll hear the air coming through. See, and that was actually 50 seconds. Okay, then when you're done, you take that. There's going to be, let's see if I can show you. I normally just throw it in the trash, but I'll show you. There's like a, what's left here. Is like a little coffee puck, and that's what's left. So you want to get rid of that and clean this up before you do anything with your coffee. Okay, so now this is very concentrated coffee. What I'm gonna do next is take my cup, Put what I brewed in, which is super strong. Not really an espresso on this one, but you can make a espresso like. Uh, tear it out, and then just add, you know, whatever water you want to make it to taste. And if you want it stronger or lighter, just add what you'd like, and there it is, coffee. Delicious coffee too. So the AeroPress makes a very good cup of coffee. It's also faster. Hold on a second. The AeroPress makes a really good cup of coffee. Um, it's a faster method than some of the other ways. Uh, it gets rid of a lot of the, you know, with that filter in the bottom, gets rid of a lot of the bitterness. Um, it makes a really smooth coffee and if you do it right and you experiment you can make you know just a cup of coffee like I did that way you can make it using the whole uh, piece where you brew it and push all the way through uh, again different grind there but uh, you can also make uh, pretty close to an espresso type thing that you could use for uh, lattes or Americanos or other different coffees so it gives you the AeroPress gives you another way to brew coffee and gives you more options. I use it a lot of mornings because it's quicker. It doesn't take anywhere near as long as it does with any of the other pour over methods. So that's the AeroPress. Uh, if you don't have one, they're really not expensive. They're like 32, 31, somewhere around there uh, dollars. You do have to get the uh, little filters that go with it, but it's really quite easy to use and you can do your own experimenting as to how you like it, uh, how strong, how weak. You know, I've gone from 15 for the syrups, I actually go up to uh, 40 grams, so I'm really pushing through a lot and I get a really thin concentrate for those syrups that you saw before in that other video. So that's the AeroPress.